Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will actually see and we will look at a few, uh, you know, errors which we might end up committing while we are communicating. And what are the things that we need to take cognizance of and be really, really careful about if we want to be a good communicator, right? Not just a communicator, leadership only starts with communication. So a person who is a good communicator only, you know, if you are a good communicator it is only then that you can be a good leader. Otherwise, you probably might end up being a dictator, right? So let's go ahead and see as to what are the things that we need to avoid or what are the common mistakes which we commit during communication and which we should avoid in order to have a good communication. Okay, so first of all, avoid going off track. Yes, that is very right. If even if you are probably, you know, sitting with someone, uh, be it a formal or an informal, uh, you know, kind of a meeting, definitely everyone's time is important, right? We don't have, you know, all the time in this world to just go and sit and do nothing, isn't it? There's a lot of, um, you know, kind of planning and management which goes behind taking out time to sit. So at that point in time, you know, neither should you be an introvert nor should you be, you know, going off the track and beating behind the bush and chewing all the time, um, you know, of the person who is sitting in front of you. It is very, very important to talk optimally and to talk as much as is required, right? Now, depending upon the situation, if you are in a formal situation, then definitely um, there is then there is no two ways about it because there's a particular time that is designated for different things. If it is a meeting, probably that is scheduled already. It would, you know, according to um, whatever is that needs to be discussed or hashed out in that meeting, definitely there'll be, you know, pre-planned time which would be allotted for that. And definitely we cannot afford going on uh, off track. Even if it is, uh, you know, not a formal discussion or something, even if it's, um, you know, something that you are sitting casually with your friends or with your colleagues or even with your family members, you know, there would be very, very few who are um, just sitting there dedicatedly, dedicatedly to listen to what you are saying, even if you are going off the track. So avoid doing that if you actually want to be a good communicator, because it's if you go on and on and on, you might just lose track not only of what you are talking, but also of the attention of the person right in front of you, right? That that person might not be even in that condition to pay attention to everyone, everything that you are saying, right? So first thing is avoid going off the track if you want to be a good communicator. Okay. Don't be too desperate to express your own opinion. That is very right. We, you know, we humans, we love to get recognition, we love acceptance, we love appreciation and which is great. Of course it is, that's, that's amazing. But you know, like craving way too much for um, attention and craving way too much for recognition might just, you know, might just, your, your communication might just go for a toss because then whatever you know if if there is any discussion that is going on so it's all about you expressing your own opinion because but that is not the most appropriate thing to do because there are people sitting around and you are not the only one everyone wants to express their opinion so you have to be very very careful um, definitely um, along with that it's not that you um, should be completely not saying anything or not expressing anything of course then you might might end up not even saying what you want to but even if you are expressing be very very careful um, you know not to create an environment where you it's it's just you who's who's pushing things all the time so you have to be very very careful while you are communicating and try and not be desperate just to express what you want, right? It is a very, very good idea to listen to what the person in front of you has to say because that is the basis of communication, right? So not being too desperate to express your opinion and 
trying to listen to what the person in front of you has to say is a very very important factor and this is something that we need to take cognizance of if we want to be a good communicator okay so next thing that we need to be very very careful about if we want to be a very good communicator is that bragging or self praise is a big turn off for most people listening to you that is very true and i'm sure most of us have encountered these situations wherein we you know encounter people who are just busy i did this i did that my kid did this my kid that you know and every all the entire praise in this world is just for them to take so well though it is a good idea to you know keep yourself praised and keep your and to probably uh, you know higher up your spirits but at the same time doing this thing overtly might not be as appealing um you know for the people who are listening to you i'm just when i when i'm discussing about this i'm just reminded of one of my professors who um would be just busy uh talking in self praise and during the entire lecture probably if, if it were a lecture of it was a lecture of one hour probably 30 uh, to 35 minutes he would spend in his self praise and rest of the time would um we would probably study what we had to right so it's not a very good idea to keep on self praising you know may maybe about yourself or about your kids or about someone who is very close to you all the time all the time it it kind of becomes irritating more so if it is just about yourself it actually ends up being kind of irritating right so and this and that she did this she did that i can top i can be this i can be everything so it's it's kind of it, it doesn't create an environment of um you know connect wherein you are able to connect to the people around you right so be very careful it though of course um i'm saying this thing again it is a good idea to be in high spirits it is a very very good idea to um you know make yourself to to feel self sufficient to feel self confident but at the same time i don't think um probably bragging about it all around could um would Uh, you know contribute to more self confidence or something definitely not rather it on the contrary it gives an impression of a person who is kind of um incomplete and is is kind of trying to uh, you know is kind of looking for recognition that is why is constantly self bragging and just self praising right so be careful um about not to end up uh, being a person who is always bragging about himself or herself Okay. Now, very very important thing a barrage of questions might not be very welcoming feature for everyone. Yes, that is right. Whenever we go for parties or for some function or something, how did you do this? How much did you score? How much the job that you're doing? What is the salary that you're getting? When are you getting married? Oh my god. And isn't it so irritating to handle such people? Now just imagine that such a person is addressing probably a group of people and um, you know you're kind of busy just throwing bombs of questions uh, on the people around would it be very very accepting not really uh, though it is a good idea to ask questions cuz quest asking question um probably is the only way to learn but it is also important that we uh place our questions sensibly and place our questions uh probably you know they are framed or they are packaged in a way that it's not kind of irritating or uh you know uh, this is something that probably we might want to discuss we might want to take care of well while we are in a formal situation if we are in an informal informal situation being way too nosy might not be a very good idea right so it kind of breaks that bond of trust because then everyone is like okay this person is like he or she wants to know everything about my personal life what sh why should i disclose uh, you know all of this to him or her right so be very careful to design frame and package your questions wherever it is necessary 
okay so being too noisy will push away people from you yes many people are of this opinion that increasing the volume of your um, you know whatever you are saying would create a larger impact but let me tell you my dear friends that is not true rather you should in, uh, probably you know um, appraise the quality of your argument that is very right just speaking out loudly would you know kind of make you sound like an empty vessel so it is rather important to have to increase the quality of whatever you are saying rather than being way too voluminous being way too vociferous that would not um, kind of create a very good idea right so if you are able to relate it to certain people who do public speaking um, probably carrying out campaigns or something uh, do you think just increasing the volume of or increasing the volume of their tone would kind of uh, get their work done not really it it is not the most advisable thing to do if you want to be a good communicator rather you should up level the quality of your argument or whatever that you are saying okay centering the conversation around your own self yes that is right and knowingly or unknowingly because we all we human beings love praise we love recognition we love to be um, you know kind of always um, motivated and we love to be um, the center of attraction we end up centering everything around us and let me tell you again it's not a very good idea because now you as a person are doing this right now everyone wants one self praise or everyone uh, likes to be recognized right you are not the only one so communication essentially which means while you are creating a bond it cannot happen if it is just centered around one person right so be careful uh, while you are communicating uh, communicating if you have this intent of creating a bond be very careful not to center everything around you because then it will end up you know working the opposite way around so be very careful about this thing as well okay unnecessarily pushing your opinions on others oh yeah this is again so so irritating and i'm sure we all have experienced this sometime in our life there are people who probably are way too opinionated about any particular thing and and then they end up feeling that okay i am the only one my opinion should be universal it should be universally accepted well that is not the case every person has a different mindset we all come from different frames of life we all have our own thought process and no one likes um, you know to be dictated that is basic human psychology right we don't like to be dictated and why would anyone follow you for, or follow your opinion just because of the fact that you are pushing it on them definitely not right so be careful if you actually want to be a good communicator try not to do that because then you'll end up being a dictator rather than a communicator right okay trying to be over smart or dominating oh yes definitely again we definitely encounter people who feel that oh my god you know this world is around me i am the center i know everything he or she knows nothing i am the one who is going to rule i am the one who is going to lead i am the leader i i i i but no not really it is not going to create that kind of an impression or it might not be the most feasible thing to do because if you are trying to be over smart let me tell you my dear friends no person in this world um, you know likes or, or no person in this world thinks less of himself or herself right everyone in this world likes to believe that i you know i am full i know it or everyone has some level of self esteem which definitely you know which your words or your actions should not degrade right so try not to be way too over smart or way too dominating while you are in discussion oh just forget it i will tell you i am the one who is going to do it i know how to do it follow me no that doesn't work so 
again a very very important aspect of communication is not it's not dominating rather it is kind of a coexistence right so it's not domination it's coexistence okay not listening or giving undivided attention yes that is very very true in case you are in a meeting and you are not paying attention to what has been said by your uh, you know senior right or for that matter even if you are in a class and not listening it doesn't portray a very very good impression because it it kind of distracts the person whoever is conducting the discussion and might um, you know lead you to a tight spot so be careful of um, not doing such things which kind of do not put you in a very very good position so if you if you like something do it if you are not interested don't push yourself hard because if you are pushing yourself into something that is not your real passion in that case this is how you're gonna land and none of us wants to be like that isn't it so be very careful of um, while you are in situations wherein 100% of you is required do not deviate from the topic at all okay so last but not the least as we always culminate it with a quote communication is about we rather than me yes that is right because communication as i already told you is about creating that bond it's not about you leading or you showcasing or showing off things around because if you you know intend to do that then you are the you you'll start to somehow or everyone will start to feel that it's all centered around you then it will be kind of a dictatorship then you'll just dictate it it will not be um, you know kind of a real bond which would be formed so the first step to leadership is being you know a good communicator and to be a good communicator we have to understand the fact that it's not just about me it's about we yes that is right so friends this was all about uh, you know all the mistakes which we might end up committing during communication which we must avoid we'll see you again in the next video till that time keep learning with tutorials point and tutorials have a good day